The Tool Container Tool. This Ultrix tool should be used in almost every workflow that you build. For starters, it helps keep those workflows organized and shareable. Let's get started with that use case and navigate to where we can find this tool, in the Documentation Tool category. You might be surprised to find that this popular tool is not included in the favorites. If it's so great, why is that? For the most part, you'll want to add the tool container to your workflow by selecting all the tools that you want grouped, right-clicking, then selecting that Add to New Container. After that, you just drag in the tools that you want included into the tool container. Why waste space in your favorites category when it's that easy? Okay, looking over at our configuration, we see that we have control over a few visual elements. First, always, always add descriptions to the caption box. Just like commenting your workflow, this is very useful to describe what the sections of a workflow are doing. Moving on, we have a couple other options like text color, border color, transparency, and margin, which you can explore if you'd like. I usually keep the defaults for these. What I do want you to use is fill color. Fill your tool containers with color based on the function which the group of tools is serving. Maybe a group of inputs, transformations, or cleansing. Then, in every final workflow that you would deliver, include a legend for what these tool containers mean. Ultimately, this will lead to your company's Aldrix community understanding at a glance what an entire workflow is built to do. Okay, now that we've covered how to leverage this as a documentation tool, let's discuss what the upper left and right buttons do when clicked. First, the upper left button disables and enables a container. You'll want to use this option to isolate a section or process in a workflow to develop or debug. Using macros, this functionality of a tool container can be leveraged by an end user. We'll cover this technique in a future video using the action tool. Then, in the upper right, we'll find a button that lets us collapse a container without preventing what's inside of it from running. This is just a way for us to take up less space on the canvas. And that's it, the often forgotten about, but should be required, tool container tool. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Altrix tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Altrix tool or macro you want to see included in the two minute tool collection, give us a shout on Twitter at Ask Tessellation, or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your data coach and Altrix ace, Nick Hayland.